regarding the appropriate remedy in this type of situation. Okay, all right. Yes, sir, you certainly may. Mr. Williams does not wish to go forward without me being here. You are removing me against um, his will, my will. You've taken away his right to counsel. And you're conducting material parts of this trial without me present, and I can't learn about it by watching online. So for that reason, additionally, I ask for a mistrial. And I assume you deny, but I'd like you to deny our motions for mistrial. You deny the other people. I, I, I denied your motion, but I'll certainly take that under advisement, sir. We're going to be in recess for the next five minutes. Only on Christ 17 TV, back upside your head with another one. Today, we got rapper Young Thug in trial, and during the court, they lock up his lawyer for contempt. Now, they walk up to his lawyer, say something in his ear, the bailiff. Next thing you know, he's taking off his, his jacket, taking off his tie, and walks up and says, may I say one thing? I asked for a mistrial because you're taking me away from doing what I do to help my client and he doesn't want anybody else to help. So this is this has been a wild trial, man. There's been a, a lot of shit going on, ups and downs, Gunner getting released, they saying is he a snitch, all this rap music they're playing, trying to trying to use his lyrics against him. I really think Young Thug is coming home soon because I keep hearing these things about a mistrial and I don't know, man. It, it doesn't look like they got a, a lot of hard fucking evidence and a lot of the people coming up as witnesses are recanting their statements, recanting, going back on what they said that they was going to say. So this guy might be coming home soon. You know what I'm saying? I don't wish nobody jail, but he's got a good lawyer. Well, I don't know. They just took him to jail, but everybody, everything is kind of going in his favor in the last few months. The witnesses aren't trying to say what they said they are going to say. They recant in their, their statements, and he's probably going to be coming home soon. Mistrial, who knows, but there's a lot of shit going on, a lot of weird shit. A lot of weird shit going on in this trial. I will be real with you. I don't know how much longer this trial is going to be be going on, but I do know this. Every time they are in trial, they got it live. They got a lot of news on this, and, you know, it's just huge. Just imagine how bigger the court trial is going to be when it's P. Diddy. Young Thug is nowhere near no puff fucking daddy imagine how big that court case is gonna be with all the man it's gonna be on every news channel everybody's gonna have it on youtube live it's gonna be going crazy it's gonna be the biggest thing since oj mark my words it's gonna be the biggest thing since oj simpson rest in peace to fucking oj <laughs> but i will say this young thug i really think is Coming home, but P. Diddy, I think, is going to find him a new home, and that's going to be in the federal penitentiary somewhere. So with that being said, I'm going to keep my eyes on and see if there's any new, new news about the Young Thug trial, but I will say this. People, keep your ass out of trouble. You don't want no Ricos. You don't want no P. Diddy's. You don't want none of that shit. Work hard, get your money, save your money, and take care of your family, man. That's all it is about, and enjoy life and live life because you only get one life. There is no do-overs. There is no, no, oh, shit, let me push rewind. There's none of that. So every day you wake up, thank God, and live your life to the fullest and take care of your family. 
With that being said, hit that like, hit that subscribe. I won't cost you a dime. And like I tell you every time around this time, I will catch you on the flip side, player.